So now the next thing is we have to add a linear gradient inside a box decoration in order to give a customized color combination that is to make our app bar look beautiful. So we will use combination of two colors using the linear gradient linear gradient on our this app bar. So how we can do that? Well that is so simple. All you need is inside the app bar you have to just use the flexible space property of an app bar and then you can type container inside the container we can use a decoration that is the box decoration and then we have to specify that is gradient linear gradient and then of course the colors for it so as I told you we will use a combination of two color the first color will be colors dot purple ascent dot shared hundred comma the second color will be colors dot deep purple so now you see it looks more beautiful okay it is too pretty now and now let's just start designing the body of our this home screen so for that purpose after the app bar comes the body so you can use a single child scroll view child padding padding and we will apply padding from all sides so we can say edge insets dot all and from all side it will be 20 we can use a column widget so first of all we are going to add the image basically which will which we will treat as a button I hope you have seen the intro okay and then after it we will add the text field that is using which we can take text input from a user let's say if the user do not want to speak so the user can of course provide input using a text field so let's just quickly add image so inside the center widget can say child inkwell on tap which is the click event for now we will leave it empty but of course step by step we are going to develop it that is we will implement it and let's quickly display our image image dot asset and inside the images folder we have an image by the name assistant icon dot png so you can say assistant icon dot png as you can see you can also set the height and width for it if you want let's say height will be 300 and width will be 300 then after that we will add a uh, add some space first of all size box of height 50 and then we will add the text field basically a text field with a button so in a horizontal direction we will add that that is a text field then in front of it we will have a button that's why we are going to use a row widget expanded widget me add here a comment first a text field and then after the text field we will have of course the button so we can say child padding and padding only from the left side it will be 4 then after it you can say child text field let's initialize a controller for it 
above here okay above the widget build we can say text editing controller text editing controller and this one is basically our user input text editing controller so we can say controller text editing controller which is user input text editing controller let's apply some decoration on it input decoration we will have some border that is outline input border and then after it let's add a label on it which will be how can I help you it is label text just like this so this is the label text for our this text field now in the after that that is within the same horizontal direction we are going to add a button with it okay so for that purpose after the text field first we will add some space of width 10 and then let's add a button so we can say inkwell on tap child animated container padding padding will be from all side 15 let's add some decoration box decoration so the shape of this button will be box shape dot rectangle will be a rectangle type button and then comes the as this button is inside the animated container so we have to add the duration for the animation so we can say duration const duration and we want to display it for milliseconds thousand then specify the animation type that is what kind so we can say curve curve dot we have different kind okay if you see here it will give you suggestions that is decelerate linear ease ease in ease in back let's go with bounce in bounce in out you can go with anyone you want of course it's totally your choice and now let's finally add icon for this button you can say icon icons dot send which is this one the color for this will be colors dot white and the size of this will be 30 now this icon which is the sand icon which has white color and size 30 this must be inside this box decoration okay I mean around it there will be a color so let's add that color that is which color we want to add to it so for now we can say color and the color will be colors dot deep purple ascent which is this one as you can see and let's add const modifier to it and for now when the user click on this send button we can say print and let's say send user input or any action for example which we will implement later on we will do it inside the on tap so now let us just check as you can see this is our animated icon button so let's say the user has to type any input and then of course the user will click on the 
animated icon button.